Remington Park update is sponsored by the Thoroughbred Racing Association of Oklahoma. and welcome to another edition of the Remington Park Update. I'm Jim Byers. It's time to take a look at a tremendous Oklahoma Derby Day program. As on September 27th, Remington featured seven stakes races headed by the Grade 3 Oklahoma Derby. Local favorite Shotgun Cowboy and Oklahoma bred winner of the Derby over a number of fine shippers from outside the area. Horses did ship in from all over for that card. We'll take a look at all the stakes races coming up. There was also a Toby Keith sighting on Derby Day. His Dream Walking Farm sent out a number of runners throughout the card, including the winner of one of the stakes races with Ghost Locket. Right now, though, let's take a look at some of the lead-in races to the Oklahoma Derby as we take a look at some of the stakes on the undercard from that September 27th program. The first of four races worth $100,000 or more in purses was the Remington Green. This longtime fixture on the turf at a mile and one eighth attracted a field of seven for a $100,000 purse. The front running Eclito Red had post position one and four to one odds. Trained by Lynn Kleberad, he's on the turf for just the third time in his career. His last effort was over this course in August, running third in a prep for the Remington Green. Last year's winner, Green Grass of Wyoming, was back to defend his title in the green. The Mike Tomlinson trainee is a confirmed grass specialist, winning four of his five races on the law. Jockey Jamie Terrio, in town for the Derby, is aboard the two to one favorite. Also well supported is Code West, winner of last year's Governor's Cup at Remington. The green is his turf debut. Right with him at five to two odds is Cougar Ridge. Winner of the DeBartolo Memorial Handicap last month by a widening four lengths. Originally campaigned in Ireland, this Kentucky bred has been a productive claim by trainer Randy Morse. Leading rider C.J. McMahon is aboard. They go to the far turn. All Eclito Red so far. Code West is right behind Eclito Red, ready to go with three furlongs left as they go to the turn. War on the home front is clear, second to the outside. And rolling, here comes Green Grass of Wyoming, fourth and advancing three wide. Cougar Ridge is trapped in there, fifth. Ish Rule still at the back, class president. Quarter mile to go, six furlongs in a minute, 11 and two fifths. And Eclito Red trying to hold on, but here's the company. Green Grass of Wyoming sweeps by, and Cougar Ridge now is clear and full of run with a furlong to go in the green. It's Green Grass of Wyoming. Cougar Ridge way out in the middle, grabs the lead now inside Code West is sleeping and sneaking through, but Cougar Ridge will prevail by a little more than length. Cougar Ridge has found a home on the turf. He's kept in the clear by C.J. McMahon and takes his second straight added money race this meeting. A Kentucky bred five-year-old gelding by Johannesburg, Cougar Ridge was a $62,500 claim this spring by owner Richard Boddy and trainer Randy Morse. Earned back almost all of that with a $60,000 winner's share of the purse in the green. Code West and Green Grass of Wyoming were next. The time, 1 minute 47 and 6 100 seconds. The Derby Day Stakes lineup included fillies and mares, three and up, in the $50,000 Flashy Lady. The heavy 6-5 favorite in this 6 furlong dash is number 9, Have You Gone Away. Now sweeping up outside, here's Have You Gone Away. She goes wide again and takes an easy lead, and she's clear by two with a furlong left. Lasting Bubbles and Adrian G battling for second. Coming up, I'm working on it, Afternoon Tango. Have You Gone Away we will score another time here, pulling away clearly to win it by five. She won an allowance prep for this in similar fashion. Have You Gone Away becomes a stakes winner with this strong effort. Jareth Loveberry in the Irons. A New York bred daughter of Congrats. Have You Gone Away is owned by Champion Racing Stable and trained by Alan Milligan. I'm working on it. The only three year old in the field is second, with Lasting Bubbles third. The time 109.43 seconds. The Oklahoma bred $3.3 million earner Kip DeVille was honored with a $75,000 guaranteed stakes name for him. 
Two-year-olds won six furlongs, just as he did in breaking his maiden at Remington in his career debut. In the Kip DeVille Stakes, he's coming in hot, was a slight favorite at 7-5, with Bring It On Dude right behind at 9-5. Off the turn, bring it on, dude. Has the advantage still by a little more than length. Val decisions at the rail. He's coming in hot, falters in second, backs up a bit. Coming on, Kale's Golden Sahara. Inside the furlong pole, it's bring it on, dude. Out by two, cruising along, bring it on, dude. In control here in the Kip DeVille. He's coming in hot, has no answer. Bring it on, dude. Takes the Kip DeVille by two and a half. The two favorites run one two as Jareth Loveberry wins another aboard, bring it on, dude. This Oklahoma bread prevails by two lengths in 1 minute 9.85 seconds. The son of the good sprinter Munnings and the mayor Sundayville break, Bring It On Dude is owned and trained by his breeder C.R. Trout, who had a special kind of Derby Day double. He's coming in hot take second with Kale Gold third. Phillies and Mares won a mile and one sixteenth on the turf in the $75,000 Ricks Memorial Handicap on the Oklahoma Derby undercard. A much-traveled stakes mare, Street of Gold, number seven, went off at nine to five. The eight to five favorite is another allowance winner from last month, number ten, Ghost Locket. At furlong left. Ghost Locket still there by three. Street of Gold not gaining. Neither is FC Country Day. Late in the game, I am Jane Doe to get her minor award. Ghost Locket will take the Ricks Memorial by three lengths. This five-year-old daughter of Ghost Zapper is in great form, winning for the fifth time in her last six starts. All under Shane LaViolette. Bred and owned by Toby Keith's Dream Walkin' Farms Incorporated, Ghost Locket is a multiple stakes winner, trained by Don Von Hemel. With the win on Derby Day, she ups her career earnings to $324,000 plus. FC Country Day second, with I Am Jane Doe third. The time, 1 minute 40.69 seconds. The purse levels rose for the $150,000 guaranteed Remington Park Sprint Cup. Written for three-year-olds and up, this year's group featured only older horses. Back at Remington this fall is one of last year's Oklahoma Derby runners, Ibaka. Trained by Brett Calhoun, this Oklahoma bred is 6 for 13 lifetime. Number two, Bag of Day shipped in from Kentucky for a former local trainer, Steve Hobby. Bag of Day has won his last two starts in the Bluegrass State. Number three, Can Dip has also won two straight, the last of those at Ellis Park. His only race at RP was a winning career debut two years ago. Hard to ignore C.R. Trout these days. He sent out two-time Oklahoma Classics Cup winner, I'm a Hit. But much of the attention is on number seven. Ivan fallen off a lot. Not only is he one to five on the tote board, but he was a romping allowance winner here in August and had a tremendous season at Oaklawn Park. Trained by Tom Howard, Ivan fallen off a lot is again ridden by Hall of Famer and three-time Kentucky Derby winning jockey Calvin Burrell. Three wide at the quarter pole and Ivan fallen off a lot just sidles on to the front, has the lead, top of the stretch, inside can dip, here's a big run. From I'm a hit, moving into third, top of the stretch in the Sprint Cup. Ivan falling off a lot, looking sharp to support the backers at this point. Up by almost three with a 16th to go. Can Dip is next. I'm a hit, Bag of Day all out to try to catch some minor rewards. Ivan falling off a lot to win the Sprint Cup by three lengths. Anybody could have had this horse for $25,000 a year and a half ago. Trainer Tom Howard and owner Lewis Matthews Jr. took that chance and claimed him at Oaklawn Park. He's become a multiple stakes winner with them and overall has won 11 of 19 career starts. Ridden by Calvin Burrell, Ivan fallen off a lot as a Texas bred son of multiple graded winner Valid Expectations, who was a close runner up in the Mathis Brothers Remington Futurity 20 years ago. Can Dip and I'm a Hit were next under the wire. At the time, 1 minute 8.42 seconds. The richest races on the Derby Day card were the $200,000 Remington Park Oaks and the $400,000 Oklahoma Derby. We'll take a closer look at them when we return right after this short break. More than 6,400 jobs are involved in the Oklahoma horse racing and racehorse breeding industries, but it doesn't stop at the racetrack or farm. From the stalls to house equine athletes to the trailers that keep them on the road. Workers throughout the state provide Oklahoma-made products and services to the racing industry. More from the Thoroughbred Racing Association of Oklahoma at traoracing.com. 
At the top of the show, we mentioned a number of horses shipped in from out of the area for the big races on the Derby Day card. And that was certainly true for Include Betty. Based in New York, she's a grade one winner. She recently took part in all three legs of the New York Racing Association's Triple Tiara for three-year-old fillies. And Include Betty was a heavy favorite in the Remington Park Oaks. The Oaks is for three-year-old fillies at a mile and 116. Include Betty is not only the three to 10 favorite in the wind pool, but also had gigantic sums wagered on her to show. Trained by Tom Proctor, the Grade 1 Mother Goose winner has the riding services of last year's Eclipse Award winning apprentice, Graydon Van Dyke. Right, and include Betty has left the back and she's coming on. She is five wide, but she's coming after the leaders with a quarter mile left. Four wide off the rail, top of the lane. Race on in the Oaks. Include Betty outside. Harlan's Romance, Sweet Opportunity, and Tasha Talaferro. And include Betty strikes the front with a furlong left. She's up by a length. And now being asked, Harlan's Romance getting crowded a bit with Sweet Opportunity. It's Include Betty down the lane, trying to hold off Sweet Opportunity, who has something left in the tank. And Include Betty will prevail in the Oaks. What looked like a handy win became something much tougher as Include Betty works hard for the $120,000 winner's share in the Oaks. Sweet Opportunity a strong second with Harlan's Romance third. Now with earnings of more than $711,000, Include Betty is a Kentucky bred daughter of Include, owned by Brereton C. Jones and Timothy Thornton. Tom Proctor trains, and 21-year-old Drayden Van Dyke is the jockey. Final time, 1 minute 44.83 seconds. The Grade 3 $400,000 Oklahoma Derby did top that matinee card on September 27th. It featured another big field on the main track at a mile and one eighth, and it featured racing talent from all over North America. But ultimately, they all wound up chasing the local horse, the Oklahoma bred shotgun cowboy. The Derby carries a $400,000 guaranteed purse which grew to $420,000 with the help of the Oklahoma bread money. One of those pursuers of Shotgun Cowboy is Super Derby winner Mobile Bay and jockey Edgar Prado. Sent off at 9-2, Mobile Bay is racing outside his home state of Louisiana for the first time. In from Southern California is Desert Dynamo for trainer Jerry Hollendorfer. Off at 7-2 odds, Desert Dynamo tries for his first stakes win. The only Oklahoma bred in the field is local stakes winner Shotgun Cowboy, ridden by Cliff Barry. A double digit allowance winner sprinting last month, Shotgun Cowboy goes beyond a mile for the first time while seeking his fifth win from seven career starts. He's the five to two favorite. Half mile to go, the opening half went in 46 and four fifths seconds. Mobile Bay is wide, but beginning to pick things up. Then Taylor Verb, the truth or else, still at the back. Shotgun Cowboy wants the lead back and will take it with three furlongs to go in the Oklahoma Derby. Classy Class still there. Third still, Hillbilly Royalty. Super Colossal is just waiting for a spot to go. Trapped inside Poseidon's Way. Wide and rolling, both Desert Dynamo and Bold Conquest. Mobile Bay chasing them. Quarter mile left after six furlongs. In a minute, 11 and three-fifths, Shotgun Cowboy. The Oklahoma Bred has the lead by two as they straighten away. Here's Desert Dynamo chasing second. Outside to Mobile Bay. Then Bold Conquest at the 16th. Shotgun Cowboy is all out to fend off Desert Dynamo, who's creeping up with every stride. Oklahoma Derby won for the second time by an Oklahoma Red Shotgun Cowboy. What a day for the local connections. All-time leading Remington Park jockey Cliff Berry, retiring at season's end, wins aboard Shotgun Cowboy for locally-based owner, breeder, and trainer C.R. Trout. It's a gutsy half-length score over Desert Dynamo, with Mobile Bay four lengths farther back in third. Barry describes his trip for Raceview Network. But anyway, the horse broke sharp. I took a pretty big hold of him, and uh, I was still in front. So uh, he idled back for me, and uh, I just hoping he finished good, and he did. Mile and eight, he'd never been that far, and who knew? But I, the horse is a very intelligent horse, and, and, uh, and he understood what was going on, and he finished very well. Shotgun Cowboy is an Oklahoma-bred son of Kodiak Cowboy and Shotgun Jane, a siphon mare who never got to the races. Shotgun Cowboy's career earnings are approaching a half million dollars. Trout said his gelding answered the considerable challenges this race presented. Well, he just proved what we have all thought. You know, he took it to another level. We didn't know how good he could be, but uh, today he stepped up and uh, we got a great ride from Cliff Berry and, and it's just accumulation of things. It just went our way. 
Shotgun Cowboy adds to his stakes credits with his first graded score. In the grade three Oklahoma Derby, he went the nine furlongs in one minute 48.91 seconds. Remington Park Update is sponsored by the Thoroughbred Racing Association of Oklahoma. That's about it for this edition of the Remington Park Update. We thank you for joining us. On our next edition of the show, we'll have a further preview of the Oklahoma Classics and more. From all of us here at Raceview Network and Remington Park, I'm Jim Byers. Thanks again for looking in on the Remington Park Update.